Hi everybody, today I'm doing a voiceover on my um, video and I'm going to be doing a multi dirty cut pour. And here is my base coat. I'm just using Blick um, White for my base coat. And I'm going to list all my paints on screen so I won't go over them now. I am showing you the new product I'm using. It's called a Boom Booster. And I'm only going to be putting one drop in the gray, as you can see here. And there's consistency, just leaves a little trace. And I'm also putting one drop in this blue color that I'm using. Again, I will list the paints. My pouring medium for these paints is seven part mix to one part paint, and I thinned with water a little bit. So what I'm going to do is turn the camera off and put my base coat down and fill my cups. And I ended up using four cups. And here we are. My base coat is down. And I will be showing you my cups as I lay them down. The pouring medium for my base coat, though, I did use Floetrol. Two parts Floetrol to one part paint, Squirt GAC 800. And about a teaspoon of Liquitex Gloss Medium. But all the other paints, I did use seven parts of the mix. I've been really happy with that product. You can see here, I'm just laying my first puddle of paint. I did uh, raise the cup up a little bit for a while and uh, drop it. Then I dropped back down closer to the canvas. This is, by the way, a 16 by 20 inch canvas. And like I said, I did fill four small cups. Here's the second little cup. And I'm just gonna repeat that process again. Just pouring it right on the canvas as a dirty cup. Hoping that all these colors play well together here. This is a very easy pour to do. A great pour for beginners. Here's my third cup. Just deciding where I want to start that puddle. That first and the third cup, they were layered about the same way as you can see. And then my, my uh, other cup that will be last I layered it a little bit different. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that pour. I liked how it ended there. And here's my last cup. Now what I decided to do was split the, split that cup into two different areas. Just so it would be a little bit easier to tip. And I am finishing that cup up. Just trying to di distribute that color there. This 
This is also a fun pour to do. And here I'm just trying to fix the center a little bit where I wasn't happy. And now I'm just taking a look at this and I'm deciding that I need to add a little bit more paint here. So I'm just going to take that dark blue color and just put it here and there in between the puddles of paint as you can see and around them. Just as an additional something for the eye to look at. I've, I've done this before and I, and I like the way it turned out. I always like to try and leave a little bit of paint in my cups just in case I have to add something after I've done the pour and after I've done the tipping and, um, and it has come in handy. And now I decided I'm just going to be putting the paint all over here just to add another layer of uh, just something more for the eye to look at. And now I'm taking my um, wine colored paint. That is what I tried to do with this. This is a color I made up myself here. And it was red, white, and purple. I tried to get wine, but actually I got more of a, oh, like a, a smoky rose color, I'd call it. And I'm just adding some dim dimension to this painting with that color also. I was pretty happy with the color I achieved. Took a little work, but uh, it was worth it. Some artists um, do a, a pour like this and then they wreck it with a skewer. And I believe that I do that also here. I just take my skewer and I, and I run it through my puddles, but we'll see here. And here I take my, um, this color is actually uh, phalo blue and silver, 50-50. Even though it looks quite silver, there is an equal amount of the phalo blue with that. It just has a, a very, uh, a blue tinge to it. And I decided, why not put that color in also? Just having a lot of fun with this painting, as you can see. I'm always trying new things. And I think the longer you paint, the more you just really want to try new things and see what the outcome will be. I guess you'll, you take more risks. I guess that's what I wanna say. And I'm giving it a torch here. This paint I made up um, yesterday, but it still had some air bubbles in it. And remember, I did add those two drops of that Boom Booster, and you can see on that blue now, and the silver, you can see the cells there. And now I start to tip. I think, wait a minute, I'm going to take that skewer and I'm going to kind of wreck it. Yeah. 
Maybe I was feeling it just was looking a little too plain in the middle. I'm not sure, but I just, I thought it looked better once I did that. Now I'm going to go back to more tipping here. There is quite a bit of paint on this canvas, so I know I'm going to have to tip quite a bit off. Sometimes, and maybe you can relate to this, you get to mixing paint and you want you want this color and that color, and before I knew it, I had eight eight colors ready to go on this for this painting here and and I used quite a bit of the paints out of each of the cups, so again, there's a lot of paint on there, and just continuing to tip and what I found with the um the mix is the more you tip and the more you stretch out the paint, the nicer the results you'll get, the nicer up the effects. And you can kind of see that in the upper left corner there, that, that blue, the dark blue. You can see how stretching that out is just really making it look attractive now. It's got some muted parts. That is one thing I really do like about the mix. Now I'm deciding that these stripes, they're just a little bit too thick and I want to just mix it up a little bit. So I'm just running that skewer through. I'm breaking them up a little bit. Now that I look at this painting, I really think that that, um, that rose color almost took the painting over a little too much, but um, I'm going to be doing a lot of tipping here. So we'll just see how it comes out in the end. And I do apologize, you can't see all of the tipping going on, but with this being a little bit bigger canvas, it's it's always hard to show everything. Now I'm just taking a look at it here. Deciding what area I'm going to tip next. I'm checking the corners here. And at this point, there still is quite a bit of paint left on the canvas. I think it's moving quite, quite easily. Throughout the process, I usually run my hands around underneath the painting to get all that extra paint off. And now I'm deciding that I, th I need to break up, I think it's the green areas there. I want to add a little bit, a different dimension in there, add a little bit more color in there instead of that solid green like that. So what I'm doing is looking at what's left in my cups that I had poured. If there's anything in the bottom of those cups. And I'm just adding a little bit of paint to one of the cups. And now you can see, I think I added in the, in the green and in the pink there. Just something, some, another little dimension there. Today I was all about playing with paint. And those are little silicone cups I'm using. They're really nice. They have a little spout and you can squeeze them. To 
help get the paint out. And I'm still adding that little dimension here too with what's left in that cup. And this is one of the other cups that had a little bit of paint left in the bottom. Just using that little bit of paint up. I'm just doing a little bit more tipping here. And after you add lines, after you've tipped a little bit, I like to tip again just to incorporate those lines so they look like they were there right from the start. And I do run most of the paint off of that that edge there, that green. At this point, I'm liking it a little better. You can see how there's a couple areas that really are nice, and it's mostly the blue areas. But knowing that there's just a lot of paint still on this canvas, I still can tip a lot off and get exactly what I want. And that's what I'm doing here, just tipping some of that paint off. And I do not like that on that corner there that I'm tipping that that area did look pretty muddy. I'm going to go back later later on in the video and I'm going to tip that off. I'm pretty sure I do. Now I'm just taking another look at it. And I'm just thinking it still needs something something else. Something else added to it. And that's when I get my base coat white out. And I start to add some white lines. You can see one white line already in there. And I just decided that I needed something to still for the eye to have to look at. So I'm trying to add some white some white here. Something to brighten it up. And I take my skewer and I run it through there just to break that up a little bit. And I'm going to take some more white here and run another line. And I'm going to put a couple more lines on here. Just playing with those lines. And don't ever be afraid to just play with your painting. Get it the way you want it.
Okay, so now I'm going to do a little bit more tipping here. See if I can incorporate those white lines now. Taking a little bit of blue off of that corner. I do like it, so I don't think I take it all off. I do like the addition of those white lines, though. You can see where it did add, just it did add quite a bit more for the eye to look at. Just that little bit of white. And this is where I run off that muddy looking edge there, or that corner there. I definitely did not like how that turned out. And the paint is moving a little bit slower now. I'm just trying to maneuver that canvas. And as you can see along the right hand side there, those are, that's the effect that that boom booster has now in that blue. You can see those, those white cells coming up. Because the paint has gotten thin enough that the white is coming up now. And again, I'm, I'm, Oh, more tipping here. I think at this point I'm thinking if I if I try and tip it a little tip a little more paint off, more of those more of that effect of those that those white cells coming up would happen. And here I am trying to work on that corner again. I was pretty persistent about running that paint off because I just didn't, or running most of it off because I just did not like that corner. And as you can see, I achieved it. Yay. You can see how shiny that paint is with the mix too. And when it dries, it dries shiny like that. So I'm taking a look at it here and, I, and I'm liking it a lot better. And you can see more of, more of those little cells are popping up. There's a couple of little pink ones in the upper right hand corner there. And a few more in the blue area. And here I think I'm just trying to straighten it out a little bit or maybe run a little more of that pink off. That's what I was thinking. Just a little bit too much of that rosy pink color there. I'll run a little bit more of that off. Stretch out the blue a little more. And now I'm trying to straighten it out a little bit. And you can see me running my hands underneath the painting just to get off all the extra paint.
just stretching it a little bit there. We're taking a look at it. I'm just checking my edges, checking the corners, making sure they're covered. Now I'm giving it a quick torch. I'm finally happy with how this looks. I'm happy because I did stretch it out. Now, this is what's very interesting. As I torch it, look at how many cells are popping up, especially in the blue area. I didn't have a lot of the silver come through, maybe in a few areas, but the cells just go crazy. So this proves that that boom booster is very effective. You don't need very much. There's all sizes cells there, quite a few little ones, but I was pretty amazed at how many did pop through after I torched it. And here we're going to go for our close-up. This is the upper left-hand corner, and you're going to be amazed at how many cells did come through. Just going down the left-hand side here. And I did like those little um, pink cells with white there. And we're just going to go up the middle here now. That rose color is so vibrant. And I was just in awe of all these cells. And then we're going over to the upper right hand corner here. I thought it was pretty in there. And pretty in here too. I thought the effects I got in there were very nice. And this is gonna going down the lower right hand corner. So let me know what you think of this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it and share it. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you know the next time that I do post a new video. And subscribe if you haven't. That would be great. And until next time, take care everybody.